using the gyro sensor. Make sure you've downloaded the VIs from High Technic. They have a really great sample VI for using the gyro sensor. It shows you the rotations. So if you turn it, it shows how many degrees it's turning per second. All right, I'm going to modify this program, keeping the first loop, which helps find the offset for the gyro sensor. And I want to keep the second loop, but I want to delete a lot of stuff in it. Let's take a look using the context help to see what information the gyro sensor gives. It returns the rate of rotation, how fast it's turning. Similar to the formula d equals rt, we can multiply the time times this speed to figure out the angle. So we're going to need to read a timer to see how much time happens each time we check the sensor. So besides reading the timer in the gyroscope, we also need to add some blocks to move, or rather turn the, mo the robot and also stop the robot at the end after we've turned far enough. All right, I'm going to create a constant to hold the value of the angle that I want to turn. Later on, if I wanted to make a sub-VI, I couldn't turn that into a control. So let's say I want my robot to turn 90 degrees. I also need to be able to keep track of how far my robot has turned, so I'm going to start that constant at zero. And because I'm going to change it all the time, I need to use shift registers so that it can be updated. Shift registers are a way of passing information from one iteration of a loop to the next. So now this is where we start getting into the math. I want to know how much time has gone by. So I'm going to take the time from the second timer and have the first timer subtracted from it. Then I'll know how much time has gone by. The timer gives back the time in milliseconds. So we're going to need to change this to seconds because the gyroscope is returning the information in degrees per second. So they have to both be in seconds. So we can change milliseconds by dividing the milliseconds by a thousand. There are a thousand milliseconds in each second. Here's going to be another place where we need to use shift registers. I want to update the time. I don't always want to subtract from that very first time. I want to keep subtracting from the last time we checked. So I'm going to give the shift register the newest time. If you remember our formula, it was angle equals the rate of rotation times time. So we're going to multiply the degrees per second from the gyroscope times our time. That is the angle turned in that short amount of time. We're going to keep doing this until we get to the 90 degrees or whatever angle we want to turn. So we need to add this to whatever amount we've already turned and pass that into the shift register so that it gets updated with each iteration of the loop. Now we're going to check have we gone far enough? Is the angle that we've turned greater than or equal to the angle that we want to turn? And we're going to pass that to the stop condition for our loop. I want positive angles to be turns to the left for my robot. That's opposite from the gyro sensor. So I need to multiply that by negative 1. If I also want to be able to handle negative angles so I can turn to the right, I need to be careful and use the absolute value so that when I'm testing, I'm always comparing things with the same sign. Finally, we need to set up our motor block, our steering. 
set the constants for your motors. I'm going to give it a slower power so that I don't drive past my angle. And then finally I need to give it either 100 so it turns to the left or negative 100 so it turns to the right. I'm going to do this by multiplying 100 by the sign of the angle that we want to turn and there's a special block that we can use to do that. This block will take the number from the angle and decide if it's positive, 0, or negative 1. So if it's 1, it'll multiply 100 by 1 and stay 100. If it's negative, it'll multiply by negative 1 and let it turn in the opposite direction. Here's the robot turning 90 degrees. I went back in the program and changed it to 180. Here's the robot turning in 180 degrees.